Hi, I'm further experimenting with AI to see if I can clone my voice. I see if AI can, AI, in quote marks, can clone my voice. So I'm uh, trying out various tools. And if you've got a tool I want to, uh, you want me to try, leave it in the comments down below. In the last video, which I'll link in, if you haven't seen it, I tried 11 Labs uh, AI and it, basically was an epic fail. It failed. It basically took uh, several of my videos, three of my videos, I think it was, and trained on my voice, but it basically does it instantly. So yeah, its technology is not great. It could not handle the Aussie accent and it made me sound British. And um, I was surprised that a ton of people said, oh, I can't really tell the difference. This would fool me. But any Aussie would that instantly listens to this will go, British accent. <laughs> Pommy accent. Someone asked me if I could get Mrs. E vlog to listen to it because she's obviously familiar with my annoying Aussie accent. Um, she's Aussie as well, of course. And uh, she, within two words of hearing it, she went, <laughs> she just laughed and went, it's Pommy, British accent. Like it was, it's so clear to us Australians that this is a British accent. Anyway, I'll link it in down below and we can have a, I'll do a repeat here. Here is my voice. Okay, so I'm reading a short script from Wikipedia on the uh, transistor. So here's my voice. This is a semiconductor device used to amplify a switch, electrical signals and power. It is one of the basic building blocks of modern it's electronics. My voice. It is composed of semiconductor. So that's just my voice. Of course, it's a bit uh, monotonous because I'm actually reading a script, which I don't normally do, right? So I didn't put much emotion into it. I could have, but I was trying to read it dry so it would, you know, be uh, simulate what the AI would read. But many more in miniature form are found embedded in integrated circuits. Now, here's the 11 Labs voice. Here we go. A transistor is a semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electrical signals and power. No. It is one of the basic building blocks of modern... No, complete thumbs down. It is basically Russell Brand uh, trying to do an impersonation of me. It, it, it just doesn't work. No. Anyway, um, I'm going to try a new tool today, uh, which is uh, Descript. Now, this is one of the most popular uh, AI uh, script readers and things like that. And it's one of the tools, I believe, that all of those, you know, those YouTube videos generated by AI, I think a lot of them, or probably majority, use Descript. It's one of the big players, one of the major players. Now, I um, fed it two different types of material. One was uh, my original videos, which I gave to 11 labs. So we'll listen to that. Um, but first of all, we'll listen to, I gave it a training script. It gives you a, like I read through like 10 minutes of a training script. So if we go to voices over here, I've got two different voices and one was using this training text. And uh, yeah, it's, this is its recommended script. So I sat there for 10 minutes, 10, was it 10 or 15 minutes? Uh, yeah, 10 minutes of uh, script. So all of this stuff, right, there's no technical jargon in there. It's just uh, like a, sort of like a, um, a documentary kind of thing. They're talking about, you know, and mountains and, you know, animals and stuff like that um, on the savannah or whatever, right? Anyway, th this is a training script. So I given it its recommended thing to train my voice on the AI. And it's actually pretty spot on. So have a listen to this, okay? This is the one that I trained it on that 10 minute script. It took, uh, you know, a day to process or whatever. So it was training based on my uh, voice as opposed to 11 Labs uh, AI technology, which is instant. Um, and yeah, it just couldn't get the Aussie accent, but have a listen to this, okay? So that script contained no words like, you know, transistor or anything uh, technical like that. So here we go, let's play it. This is what it did. Now, unfortunately, even though I paid for this, I'm on some paid tier. Um, apparently, I'm not paying enough coin. And so it actually limits me to a thousand word vocabulary. Um, so it will actually literally insert the words, words jibber and jabber into there if, it, if I'm exceeding the thousand word limit. Oh, even though this text is incredibly small, right? So, but still, yeah, it doesn't do it. So the word jibber jabber is in there, but l listen to this. A transistor is a semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electrical jibber and power. It is one of the basic building blocks of modern jibber. It is composed of semiconductor material, usually with at least three terminals for connection to an electronic jabber. Because the controlled output power can be higher than the controlling input power, a transistor can amplify a jabber. Some transistors are packaged jibber, but many more in miniature form are found embedded in integrated circuits. There you go. I think that's absolutely amazing. Yes, it sounds 
AI-ish. It sounds monotonic, like it's reading a script. There's no sort of excitement that, you know, or little, you know, variations in my voice that you'd normally hear. But wow, compared to 11 Labs IO, that's chalk and cheese, right? This is actually my accent. It's, you know, it's got it down pat. And I never use the word, some of those words in that script. So it's obviously generating those words. And I'm sure if I ponied up more money, it would actually <laughs> remove jibber and jabber and actually say those words really good. Uh, this is a pass. I give this a probably at least an 8 out of 10. This is really impressive. Yeah, if it just added a little bit more emotion into it, maybe. But, you know, this sounds very similar to me just reading a dry script without putting any sort of emotion into it. Now, that is using the training script. Now, let's go back. Now, if we use the voice which was trained on my actual videos instead of its recommended script, it sounds very different, okay? Once again, this took like 24 hours to process uh, all of this, but it obviously was using my videos, which are very emotive kind of, you know, uh, like, you know, I put a lot of passion into my, you know, the way I talk. I wasn't reading a script at all. So this one actually sounds very different and it's not nearly as good. Have a listen. Is a semiconductor device used to jibber or switch electrical signals and power? It is one of the basic building blocks of modern jibber. It is composed of semiconductor material, usually with at least three terminals for connection to a jabber circuit. The voltage or current applied to one pair of the jibber terminals controls the current through another pair of terminals. Because the controlled output power can be jibber than the controlling input power, a transistor can amplify a signal. Some transistors are packaged individually, but many more in miniature form are found embedded in integrated jabber. Oh, for those who think my voice is bad and irritating, that was awful. That was absolute, that was, you know, nails down a chalkboard kind of thing, as if my voice wasn't bad enough. So, yeah, no, nah, you really need that uh, training script to get it. But that sounded really, fa the training script one actually sounded really fantastic. Let's, let's have it listen to that again. I think it's great. A transistor is a semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electrical jibber and power. It is one of the basic building blocks of modern jibber. It is composed of semiconductor material, usually with at least three terminals for connection to an electronic jabber. Because the controlled output power can be higher than the controlling input power, a transistor can amplify a jabber. Some transistors are packaged jibber, but many more in miniature form are found embedded in integrated circuits. That's pretty impressive, is it not? Leave your ranking down below. Once again, out of 10, I would probably rate this 8 out of 10. It's kind of, it's it's kind of Aussie accent, like it doesn't sound really Aussie, like it's not ochre, but um, wow, wow, for reading a dry script. That's absolutely fantastic. Anyway, yeah, Descript, pretty impressive, but I hate the program. Its user interface is absolutely awful absolutely awful um it's just non-intuitive how you actually do stuff but still damn anyway thoughts and comments down below catch you next time